be with my birthday gift for the mermaid princess. I have to get it to the Enchanted Sea by lunch or it won't arrive at her party on time. <sighs> A mermaid birthday party. Charmazing. I would love to see that. <sighs> oh, Enchantress, come quick. There are giants in the lollipop forest licking all the lollipop <gasps> trees. Oh, dear. Those trees are still too sour to eat. Hazel, call me the minute the gift arrives. I'll be back as quick as I can. And no peeking. Go get him, Mom. I'll keep watch. Nope, nothing here. Ugh. Oh, no! Look out! <gasps> oh, oh, my! Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that was heavy. Hi, Hazel. Where's the Enchantress? She had to go to the lollipop forest on some very big giant business. I'll call her. You've reached the Enchantress. I'm not available at the moment. Please leave a message after the sparkle. Snapdragons, she must still be flying. Fairies, do you think you could deliver the chest to the Enchanted Sea? Oh, sorry, but we can't flap another fairy wing. It took all our magic just to get it this far. That's okay, you rest. Hi, Mom. The present is here, but don't worry. I'll get it to the Enchanted Sea on time, with some help. Hi, Hi Hazel. Hazel. What's up? I need help with a special delivery. To the charm house! broom bump. What's in that chest? It's my mom's birthday present for the mermaid princess. But she has a magic emergency, so we get to take it to the princess. <gasps> oh, what do you give a mermaid princess for her birthday? Jewels? Treasure? Magic? I don't know. Mom said no peeking. It sounds sloshy. What kind of present is sloshy? How are we going to get it to the Enchanted Sea? You barely made it this far before crashing. I have a charmtastic idea. The chest can fly itself. You must be delivered without a delay. Giant wings will carry you the rest of the way. the direction of the Enchanted oh, Sea. Wow. Oh, no! Quick, Charmers! Roomies! <laughs> After that present!
dress and shoes wet. Not even for a mermaid princess. What's wrong with getting wet? You take baths. Yes, but with bubbles, not pond water. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ferg. The chest has a gift for the mermaid princess. But it's at the bottom of the pond. I think we can get the chest back with a little froggy help. Too late. <gasps> oh, birds have wings, fish have tails. They move too fast to be friends with snails. Whales use fins, worms wiggle and bend. But snails are too slow to ever make friends. A spider has legs, there's paws on a pup. How can a snail ever hope to keep up? Horses have hooves, so do gazelles. It's tough to make pals when you're slowed by a shell. You're amazing! A singing snail! <gasps> Oops, sorry. No, don't mention it. Good to meet you. Welcome, new friends. I'm Cyrus. I'm Hazel. This is Lavender, Posy, and Berg. I've never seen a singing snail before. What brings you here, my new pals? We're looking for the mermaids. Mermaids? Sorry, nope, no mermaids here. No one ever comes to this part of the beach. Seeing mermaids? Well, that would be something. So what now? Hmm. I'll call my mom and tell her we're here. She'll tell us what to do. You've reached the Enchantress. No good. I can't reach her. She's probably out of mirror range. The lollipop forest is a long way away. Maybe we should push the chest in the water. Just as long as I stay on the dry side of pushing. <laughs> Thank you, Wings, for your use. But now it's time to fly off loose. No! Wait! Come back! <sighs> Hazel, look! <laughs> A baby sea unicorn! He's so cute! No wonder the chest sounded sloshy. Mom's birthday gift to the mermaid princess is a perfect little pet. <laughs> I'm going to call you Cuddles. <laughs> Underwater. Posy, that's a great idea! If we turn ourselves into mermaids, we can find cuddles and bring them to the princess. Maybe we'll even be invited to her birthday party. I don't want to get wet, but going to a mermaid party might be fun. Lavender, you'll love the water as soon as you're a mermaid. And think about poor little cuddles out there all alone. Fine, I'll do it for cuddles. Yay, Lavender! I found a spell! Oh, but it says if we don't return to the surface by sunset, we'll remain mermaids forever. It's not even lunch yet. We have plenty of time. Right, Charmers? Right. Of course we do. Now, sparkle up, Charmers! We wave our wands! Wink, 
play our wands. We pour our special potions. We spark love and cast a spell in a single charming motion. Sparkle up, Charmers! Legs and feet we gladly trade for the tail and fins of a real mermaid. shell. It keeps track of time. As the sun gets lower and lower, the shell's color will run out. Okay, so we have to go find Cuddles, deliver him to the princess in time for the party, and then get back to the surface before the shell runs out of color. Sounds about right to me. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get Cuddles! <laughs> Welcome to the Enchanted Underwater Gardens. These look like daffodils and water lilies. It's it's beautiful and charming. It's like the most magical garden ever. <gasps> so pretty. Careful, Posy Pal. These plants like to hug anything with a fishtail. It's hard to get away. I don't have a fishtail. Oops. <laughs> I guess I do. <gasps> this way, Charmers! Hurry! Oh, no! Poor Cuddles. How do we get him free without getting hugged ourselves? With some tickling bubble magic. <laughs> Wait! Cuddles! Before it tries a bigger hug! <laughs> you! Posey, are you okay? I'm fine. Did you see how fast we swim with just a flick of our mermaid tails? They are pretty fantastic. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh no! We need to find cuddles before the party starts! <laughs> this way! <laughs> would swim in there? I don't know. I guess we should check it out, though. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Of course, that's just me. I'm Karina. Um, hi! I'm Hazel, and this is Lavender and Posy and Cyrus. Charmed. We're looking for our friend. We heard a noise and thought he may have gone in there. That was not your friend you heard. Not unless your friend is a gigantinormous octopus. See? <laughs> Snapdragons! That was close! Thanks for the warning. No problem. Your friend could be anywhere. I might be able to help find him, but we need to go back to my charm shell. Charm shell? Toonies! They're tuna fish! Climb aboard! It's easy! <laughs> Hang tight and follow me!
house. Come on in. I'll get us some snacks. Hope you like seaweed juice and kelp cookies. So, where are you mermaids from? We are little charmers. But we spelled ourselves into mermaids to deliver a special birthday present to the mermaid princess. Oh. Her. You know her? Are you going to her birthday party? That party's gonna be as fun as a tuna with a toothache. How can you say that? I bet it's gonna be magical. Spartastic! Charmazing, even! From what I've seen, princesses don't have a lot of time to make friends. And what's a birthday party without friends? I would be the princess's friend. Speaking of friends, we really need to find ours. Huh? And we're running out of time. Don't worry. I sent the fish to search for any strangers in the sea. Oh! Did you find him? Oh, jellyfish! I know where your friend is, and it's not good. I was wrong. Your friend did swim in the cave. Now the octopus has him. We, we need, need a plan. plan. <laughs> An octopus has a lot of arms. Eight of them, to be exact. And we have to keep them all busy. Charmer Huddle! Ready? Can't catch us! Come on! Hi, little fella. We'll get you out. I'm just not sure how yet. You'll meet a beautiful mermaid princess. Come on, Cyrus. Let's get out of here. Look out! Close one! Come on! Yeah! Catch us! <laughs> that was fantastic! Is your friend in there? Can I meet him? Oh, no. The princess party is starting soon. I need to go and get ready. I'll see you there. Bye. 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 We have to hurry, Charmers. We have just enough time to deliver the princess's present. No. No. Uh oh. Let's go. <laughs> Hazel, we gotta go. Remember. <laughs> Is this really a good idea? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Octopus? Hector? My name is Hector. Why are you crying, Hector? Oh, my little friend is gone and now I'm alone again. No one ever comes out here to visit me. Oh, I'm so lonely. Aww. <gasps> Will you be my friend? Um, we'd love to be, but we need to deliver the mermaid princess her present and get back to shore before sunset or we'll become mermaids forever. I'll be your friend. Oh, you will? Sure, I'd love to have a big octopus as a buddy. <laughs> Come back and visit, okay? Okay, bye! Now, Hector, my buddy, my pal, first thing we gotta do is brighten up this place. If it's less spooky, more friends will visit. Ferg, I got Hazel's message. Are the girls back yet? I know. I'm worried, too. The sun is getting awfully low. Oh, no! It sounds like the party started. Hurry, Charmers! I hope we're not too late. I don't think the princess is here yet. We did it! We made it in time! Good job, Charmers! Here she comes! <gasps> Karina! <laughs> Charmers, come in, come in! Why didn't you tell us you were the princess? Oh, jellyfish, sometimes I just want to be Karina. You know, have fun and play with friends. Thank you for giving me the most exciting birthday ever. <gasps> I almost forgot! Your present! I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Adorable! Uh-huh. Definitely.
definitely. It's so fun to be a mermaid. Thank you for my splash-tastic gift. I know you'll be good friends. I made a lot of good friends today. So did we. It turned out to be a charm-tastic birthday. Happy birthday, Karina. Goodbye. See Bye. ya. See you soon, Karina. Time to head back, girls. You can tell me all about it on the way home. Little Chama. Is it time? Time to tell the story? Finally! I've been waiting for this all year. You're gonna love what you hear. Ready? Here we go. This is a story that happens with a little sparkle and snow. <clears throat> Here's a story that happened at holiday time. It's a good one, a true one, and all told in rhyme. <laughs> well, my part anyway. It's the tale of three charmers, one sparkly night, a story of magic that's snowy and bright. <laughs> magic gingerbread charmer cookies? Check. Pause to enjoy the magic of Sparkle Night. <sighs> Check. Oh, look! I'm almost done! Oh, with the first page. Oh, I have to hurry. Hey, honey. Can't talk. Getting ready for Sparkle Night. <laughs> Pixie perfect. <laughs> but, hon, I really need your opinion. Okay. Look better in green. <laughs> huh? I mean about my new broom. What do you think of this? It's lovely, dear. Now, where was I? Hmm. Maybe I should add just a little more horsepower. <laughs> Whoa! Hold your horse! <laughs> Hot chocolate! Coming, Mom! Woohoo! Whoa, slow down! <sighs> yeah! Group picture, everybody! Yeah! <laughs> no! No! Hmm, maybe a little too much horsepower. <laughs> That's going into my Sparkle Night album for sure so I can remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> stars! Mmm. I wonder who will get to put the star on top of the tree this year. Me too. It always goes to the charmer who shows the most sparkle spirit all year round. Like your mom in that picture. Aww. Aww. 
<sighs> I always wanted to do that one day, too. I can't wait to see who it is this year. Well, you won't have to wait much longer. The tree decorating ceremony starts any minute. Yay! Starlight, star bright, star on top of the tree. Oh, who will the magical star topper be? The one special person who light up the dark. The charmiest in Charmville, the sparkliest spark. Starlight, star bright, star on top of the tree. Oh, who will the magical star topper be? Maybe, just maybe. Might it be me? Wow! It's spectacular! It's time to begin the celebration. Behold the sparkling star. <laughs> the symbol for the true start of the season. Once the star is in place, we'll sing our sparkle carols and ice skate in the square. But first, who will place the star on top of the tree? The magic envelope, please. This year, the chosen charmer is... <gasps> my daughter, Hazel Charming. <gasps> Me? That's right, Hazel, for being the charmer with the most sparkle spirit all year long. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Go, Hazel! <laughs> Make like an Elfie and take me a selfie. I know. Oh, oh no! Reverse, reverse, reverse! Uh oh! No. Oops! Just a moment. Let's see what we can do here. Little star that took a tumble. There's no need for you to crumble. Now back together you should go. On with our sparkle show. Mom? It's okay, Hazel. It was an accident. Okay, it looks like the star ceremony is uh, temporarily postponed. Aww. Meanwhile, Merry Sparkle Night to everyone. Oh, no. Hazel? <laughs> you know, the tree still twinkles charmtastically. Yeah, and without a star, you could really see the pointy stick part at the top of the tree in a good way. So nice. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. But I've ruined Sparkle Night for everyone. Forever. Poor Hazel. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Thanks, Seven. <sighs> you okay, sweetie? What do I do, Mom? I ruined everything. Not everything, Hazel. Just a star. Tomorrow's the big day. I bet if you go to sleep, this will all seem a lot better in the morning. Mm -hmm. Good night, little charmer. Wait! Yes, dear? Could you maybe just stay with me for a while? Of course, Hazel. It's been a long day. <sighs> Tomorrow, another day, and Santa Sparkle will still come. <sighs> That's true. 
Santa Sparkle always comes, no matter what. No matter what. Because Santa Sparkle is the magicest charmer there is. <gasps> Wait a second. Is it okay if I talk to Posy and Lavender? It's really important. <sighs> okay? Okay, Mom? Okay. Okay, Mom. <sighs> Thanks. I knew you'd understand. Come on, Seven. <laughs> Wake up, Charmers. Oh, look. <sighs> I'm dreaming about Hazel. <sighs> Is something wrong? Shh. It's a charm emergency. Can you ask your parents if you can come over? Okay. <laughs> you really think you can fix the star, Hazel? Uh-huh. But how? Not to relive the moment, but it's seriously smushed. We're going to fix it with a little help from Santa Sparkle. Of course. He does have the most magical magic ever. And he's more than a toy maker. He makes wishes come true, too. Santa Sparkle can fix the star. Yeah. Only, how can we get to Santa Sparkle to ask him? Easy. We just stay up and wait for him to come down the chimney. Let's do it. We just uh, can't fall uh, asleep. <sighs> So the Charmers each fell right to sleep in a wink. Their plan will fix all, at least so they think. Listen! Oh. It's Santa Sparkle! He's here! Picture of this. Come on, let's get one with everybody. Ho ho, okay. Magic camera, head over yonder, take a picture, it lasts longer. What in the world has Hazel done now? She tried a charm, but instead got pow. I guess magic accidents are Hazel's real knack. Her spell bounced straight up and out the smokestack. And though I wish it wasn't true, it snapped poor Santa's sleigh in two. Oh, I can't look. <gasps> oh, no! Did what I think just happened actually just happen? Oh, no. I just turned Santa Sparkle into a mouse. <laughs> <sighs> what a huge disaster on Sparkle Night. Hazel's slip-up with Santa Sparkle made a mess, all right. No more jolly ho-ho-hos, now just a tiny squeak. This has simply got to be the magic mistake of the week. Oh, no. What do we do now? We look on the bright side? What bright side? Without Santa Sparkle, all of Charmville won't get presents, and Sparkle Night is going to be ruined. Yeah, but it will make the next holiday look pretty good. <gasps> Posy, we just have to spell things back. And fast. Yeah! Um, did anybody see where Santa Sparkle Mouse went? <laughs> Seven! <laughs> Seven! You know better. Shrapple, don't scare Santa Sparkle Mouse. Hey! Uh-oh. <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> Follow that mouse! Wait! I have an idea! Knowing what we know about mice and what we know about Santa Sparkle, Let's build a Santa Sparkle trap! Since Santa Sparkle loves cookies, and mice love cookie crumbs, Santa Mouse won't be able to resist this. Come on! Gotcha! Now, what do we do with a glass full of Santa Sparkle Mouse? We charm him back to the Charm House! Come along and fly with us. Uh -huh. To the Charm House, everyone. Come on, it's where the fun never ends. It's all about the magic of best friends. To the Charm House! We want Santa Sparkle back with
with his rosy cheeks and his giant jolly laugh, not tiny little squeaks. It's hopeless. We just can't do it. Come on, we can't give up yet. If we can't spell Santa Sparkle back, there won't be a sparkle night for anyone. And that's worse than a star getting broken. <sighs> we are going to need a stronger spell. Let's try one more time. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Santa Sparkle Up Charmers, we wave our wands. We play our wands. We pour our special potions. We sparkle up and cast a spell in a single charming motion. Sparkle Up Charmers. The real Santa Sparkle wasn't tiny, was he? So come on, play along. Don't be small and fuzzy. <laughs> I think it's working. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Oh, 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 thanks for that. What happened? One second we're taking a picture, then the next thing you know, I really wanted a piece of cheese. It was my fault. I was so excited about taking pictures, I got a little carried away. That's okay. Everything's back to normal now. Well, not everything. There's still the little matter of my sleigh. Your sleigh? What happened? Well, I'm not sure. Your spell blasted through the chimney and bam! Split it in two. Oh, oh, horrible. Uh-oh. I don't know if we have a magic fix for that. No, but I know one person who might. My dad! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, wow, Hazel, you have been busy tonight, haven't you? Well, let's have a look under the hood. Assuming there still is one. <clears throat> I miss the old reindeer-powered sleighs. These new fancy ones have too many parts. Why'd you switch? Ah, the elves were teasing me for being old-fashioned. <laughs> okay, putting it back together is easy. Just need a wagon load of glitter glue. But see here, your thrusters clean sheared off your booster, which incapacitated your capacitator. And you know what that means. Uh... No zoom left in the Zazuma matter. Oh, so you're saying the sleigh needs some other kind of power. Not just any kind of power, magic power. Something so powerful, it can get the sleigh and all the toys to every house before morning. So something like Dad's brooms? Well, my magic brooms are known for their horsepower. Ho, ho, okay. Brooms, attention! Harness reins, ready for flight? Take Santa's sparkle into the night! All right, brooms, show them what you've got. Even the brooms don't have enough power. Okay, charmers, wands up. On my signal, give it everything you've got. Go! Not quite done yet. Watch this! Wow! Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> Thank you, Dad! You're the best! Better than best! Whoa. The bestestest! <laughs> I like this. Kind of retro. It's late, Santa Sparkle. You should probably be going. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. You know, little charmer, I've been around a while, and I know trouble comes in threes. Is there something else that needs fixing? The Sparkle Night Star. I... I broke it. It's ruined. And I thought... Well, I thought... If anybody can fix it, you can. How bad is it? Oh, it's a job for a pro. Oh, how about I see what I can do? Let's go see that star. Oh, oh, oh. So off the sleigh whisked, so quick through the air, over the rooftops and straight to the square. And slowly she showed the one hero she trusted, the hunks and the chunks of the star that she busted. You can fix it, right, Santa Sparkle? I mean, I've been looking forward to the day I get to place the star on top of the tree since forever. Mm, it's not going to be easy. 
But maybe, just maybe... Wow! Snapdragons. Maybe if I keep trying. No. I... I know you have to get going, Santa Sparkle. You've got a big job to do tonight. You have a lot of people depending on you to bring their Sparkle Night presents. Not just me. Poor Hazel. How she wanted to fix up that star. But she knew the world's joy was more urgent by far. And there as Hazel put others before herself, all right, the star began to glow before Santa Sparkle that night. And as the star's luster grew in that white-mittened palm, who appeared in the square? Well, who else? Hazel's mom! What's going on? I... I must have fallen asleep. I'm not dreaming, am I? Not at all, Enchantress. Charmer of the Year. Would you like to place the star atop the tree now? <laughs> no, thank you. <gasps> what do you mean, no? After all the trouble we went to? I know. And that's why I'm not going to put the star on the tree. My dad is. <gasps> Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Magic Sparkle Night is about sharing and love and putting others first. <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. Which gives me an idea. So, Santa asked, why have one? Why not more? And instead of just one treetop light, that night he made four. Charmers made things right. The entire square cheered, and I'd say it's because their tree's now the prettiest that ever there was. I've always wanted to do that. Oh, oh, oh. that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Santa Sparkle. But we've made you very late. Is there any way we could help? Actually...